Hey guys, we're back with more A Link Between Worlds, and last time, oh boy, that was a lot of work. Well, this time around, we're going to be doing some exploring for a little bit, so why not? Let's get started. Oh, a customer. Don't be shy. Come on over. Yeah, after I get some more money, and who's this guy? Listen, kid, I didn't do it. Whatever it was, so just leave me alone, okay? Uh, sure, whatever you say. And this guy? Ever stop to think how many times we just pass right on by people on the street? You know, all our life? Well, I know a secret that will make passing by people a lot more fun. Because I am in the business of introducing people such as yourself to Street Pass. Want me to tell you all about Street Pass battles? About later, I'm not in the mood. I see. That's a shame. If you ever felt like hearing about Street Pass, come back and talk to me again. But if you guys want to really know, it's just battles with Shadowland. No biggie here. But right now we got work to do because we need to get rupees. And we're going to need a lot of rupees. Why do I say that? Because, well, we're going to need a lot of rupees for this game since we need to get items. And watch out, I don't want to get stunned by bees. Yeah, but in order to actually get the bees, we need an item. And that item is a bottle, and that's worth like a hundred rupees. Yeah, sometimes you need to get stuff in order to get what you need. So, yeah, it kind of stinks. So, where do I go? Let's see, let's check in this cave. And let's see in this chest. Nice, 20 rupees. Now we have more than enough to get a bottle. And we're going to be needing a lot of bottles so we can stock up on potions, fairies, etc. That's a bottle. Useful for storing a bunch of things. How about 100 rupees for it? Yep, I'm taking it. I got a bottle. Now we can put all sorts of things into it. Thank you. Come back soon. Yeah, sure. Now, next stop, since we have a bottle, we need to drop by in that B place. Get us oh, wait, we already spoke about the thief, and I think we'll learn about Spot Pass later on. But for now, this must be the place we get, like, milk. No. Darn it. Where is it? Both didn't have a blood catching yet. This must be the treasure shunning minigame, and this must be the B place. So, let's head inside. Bzz, bzz, Link, long time no see. Huh? Don't you remember me? I've been catching bees since way back in the day. Well, I guess I've changed a bit. Takes a bee to see a bee. So I've become a different person. Now every buzzy called me the bee guy. So just between us, I wonder if you'll do me a favor. I want you to catch bees for me. You can keep them nice and safe in bottles. What? Won't have a net? B, cause you're helping me out, I'll give you one of mine. Thanks, now I got the bug catching net. Now we can catch bees and a lot more. Spending my days surrounded by a buzzy swarm of bees has always been my fondest stream. So use that net to gather up some bees if you please. Of course, I'll reward you for being so helpful. Being so helpful, please. No, that's not it. All right, good. Now that we have the bug catching net, we can use it to catch bees. And we're gonna need to catch a lot of bees. Why? Because for every bee you get, we get 50 rupees for it. Now the best place to get bees is in like tall patches of grass, like here. Change. Five rupees, piece of heart, like some heart. Damn it, missed. Nice, I caught a bee. I'm gonna put it in a bottle. Now let's head back to the bee place so that way we can get some rupees. And we're gonna need it. Going all the way up here. Bee place. Alright. Let's just show him the bee. What's that? You found one? I couldn't be more delighted. Wow, look at that bee sheen. She's the bee's knees. Here's my way of saying thanks. Take this. Bzz, bzz. We got a purple rupee, and that's worth 50 rupees. You're a real pro at catching bees, Link. But I wonder if you can find the most bee coming of bees. The golden bee. I've never seen one before. If you can bring me one of those, I'd... Well, I'd be very generous. I'll keep that in mind. So now that we have more rupees, we can now go to this item shop. No, not that shop. I am staying away from it. Where is that shop? I have to score a shield. Should be somewhere on here. Oh yeah, the shield stops on the left. Since I'm checking the map on the bottom screen. 
There it is. This must be the item shop. Hey. Hey, what's, who's, what's going on here? Lend me your ear for a moment, won't you? You know that street merchant outside? He's selling hearts. Can you believe that? Hearts. I mean, you can just scoop them off the ground with a net. The nerve of that man. Might as well sell the leaves off trees. Don't buy them, whatever you do. Sure, but what I'm after is this. Well, you're interested in the shield? That makes perfect sense with what all these monsters outside the village. They sprang up so suddenly. I'll sell it to you for 50 rupees. How about it? Yup. And we got the shield. By pressing and holding the R button, we can raise it up and defend ourselves. Thank you so much. Shields are easy to use. Just press the R button to hold it up and protect yourself. That's it. Defense is important when you're fighting monsters. Now watch yourself out there, okay? Nice. This is gonna really be helpful. And since we already caught some bees, well, I wouldn't mind catching bees again. So let's head to the item shop. And just swap it out for some, like, bug catching it. And spin attack. Nice, we caught a bee. Let's put it in the bottle and then send it to the bee guy for 50 rupees. Why are you gonna need it? And the bee store is up ahead, so let's do it. Alright, let's just talk to him again. And we get another 50 rupees. How about that? Alright. Let's take down the southern path out of town since we're going to be doing a lot of exploration. Alright, this must be the southern exit. And we got enemies aplenty to deal with. Oh yeah, take that. Hmm. Ah, no bees. That's a bummer. Okay, looks like we got ourselves a mini game. Let's start the run. Welcome to the Cuckoo Ranch. Come to play with our cutesy little cuckoos? Sure you have. Wanna play right away? Sure. Looks like we'll have to avoid some cuckoos. The cuckoos will be pleased as punch. Now the rules are simple. You go into that enclosure up there and then try to dodge the cuckoos that come flying at you for 30 seconds. Since you're still wet behind the ears, let's start you at egg level. Why egg level? Egg level is 20 rupees. Wanna play? Yeah. Alright, try your best. Looks like we're gonna have to dodge a lot of cuckoos. You ready? In that case... Oh, great. Cuckoos! Yeah, the whole point of this minigame, you're gonna have to dodge every cuckoo for about 30 seconds straight. And as things progress, you have to dodge a lot. Whoa, 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 whoa! 15 seconds! Almost there. Nice, I'm doing a lot better. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Not bad. Time's up. Wow, nicely done. Here's your prize, 40 rupees. Awesome. The cuckoos say thank you for playing. Come again sometime. Well, that takes care of that. That was actually pretty simple. And we got ourselves more pocket change, which is going to prove very helpful. And this must be the Rupee Rush minigame. Ready to rush? Aw, sorry. Actually, we're not open yet, you cute little thing, you. But don't you worry. Rupee Rush will be open quicker than two shakes on a cuckoo's tail feathers. I'll keep that in mind for later when we have to in order to get a piece of heart. But for now, we'll have to continue on our way. But now we must pass through some woods. Dodging enemies and blasting through. Hmm? Is that Gully? What's up? Hey! You've come to play with me, Link? So did all those animals. They always come running when I show up. They run off if anyone else comes along. I wonder why. The more the merrier, that's what I think. Well, at least that's good enough. But I doubt he'll listen. At least we tried. I think we're supposed to see his parents, I think, but we can worry about it later. Not of waxing enemies. Alright, so far so good. 
spin attack. Hmm, I wonder which leads to the southern end. Southern end is being blocked by a rock. Crud. There's no way for this. Yeah, Link tries, but fails. Huh? What's up here? Who's that? Well, whatever it is, looks like I might be expecting something. In the meantime, let's save our game. We got ourselves 130 rupees. I don't want to lose all that. Alright, saving complete. So now let's head down to the southern ruins. And this place is going to be real dangerous. Crows! Out of my way. Oh boy. Oh yeah, we can also get a lot of rupees by slaying these crows. Crabs! At least they're not that threatening. Now we gotta head southwest, and there's a piece of heart, but we can't get there yet. Uh huh. Ah, Octorox! Out of my way, Octo Dork. Hmm. Great, looks like we're not getting anywhere. Doesn't matter, let's just head southwest then. Yeah, the whole purpose of this episode is exploration, so we're gonna be exploring Hyrule a lot. And it looks like we got a lot of rupees here. Awesome, now at 150. Choo choos! Oh no! Nuts, I can't believe I got shot! Crap! One more hit and I'm a goner! At least here's good enough. And these lines of rupees, where do they come from? You gotta watch out for that thing. That thing is bad news. So let's just avoid it for the time being. Nice, I'm back to full health. Thank goodness. Yeah, I think we're gonna need an item to take these guys down. So let's head in here. I will soothe your wounds and provide comfort. Close your eyes and relax. Nice. And those enemies that we encountered earlier were Buzz Blobs. Alright, so now it's time for us to continue on. Gotta dodge these Buzz Bombs or whatever they're called. Now it's time we head to the Southern Ruins and we have to head towards Lake Hyrule. Ooh, we gotta watch out for those Octoroks. And a crow! That ought to take them down. There they are. I hate dealing with Octorox. Yeah, cue Wand of Gamelon joke. Okay, now we head all the way to the edge until we can reach up the north. This must be it. Hang on, let me switch to the lantern. Much better. Alright, one in here, one in here. And we got a chest. Let's see what's inside. A purple rupee. That gives about 50 rupees. Good. Spin attack. One, two, whacked. One, two, three. That one's a fake. A rupee like. Those things are like like likes, but they drain your rupees. Oh crap, crow! Bye bye, crow bucket. Okie dokie. Ugh, I'm not gonna worry about the call. Let's see what it is. Yeah, I gotta answer a phone call, but I can worry about that later. Okay, now let's take care of these crabs up top. Yeah, I know this is gonna be like a two-parter or something, so I don't mind that. Hmm, let's see what's down here. But we can't do anything yet. And there's a bottle, but I don't think we can get that yet. 
Don't worry, we'll remember what we saw it, but right now... What a dead end. At least look at it this way, we're getting a lot of rupees. We're already over 200. Hmm, I wonder what's in here. Yeah, but we can't pass through yet, so... That's a bummer. Time to dodge everything against these nuts. There's that bottle again. Okay, let's just continue on. Yeah, I could keep on going, but that's gonna lead us to a dead end, so we're stuck. Nuts! Why did I get hit by that? Hate that. Out of my way, crow. One, two, rupee like, avoid. Uh, let's keep on going up. And we got hearts, so that's good. Now let's head back to Link's place. Ow! Ow! Can't believe now he has a lot of other things to say. Spin attack, and a red rupee. That gives us 20 rupees. If you see rocks that are sparkling, just smack it with the sword. The results will be pretty grand. Right. Well, now that we're back at Link's house, we're now gonna head up north. Hmm, what's that? Alright, now let's head up north and see what's up. Since we have to head to the Eastern Palace anyway. Okie dokie. Right, guys, these Octoroks. Nice. Wow, it looks like they're not that tough. And easy to avoid, too. Uh-oh, Zoras! Yeah, Zoras look completely different than when they looked in, I think, even the other Zelda games. Why they look like monsters, I don't know. Watch out for that thing. Nuts! And we found a weather vane. That's gonna prove to be helpful. New weather vane's been appearing on our map. Let's save for the heck of it. Thank you. Now let's check what's inside here. Alright, let's see what she has to say. Aha! A customer. Tell me what I can do for you. Well, I want to buy stuff, so why not? These are my deluxe potions, but I have been trouble getting the right ingredients lately. I can only make you red potion for now, that is unless you bring me the necessary bits and pieces. Yeah, press A in front of the potion if you'd like to buy to find out which ingredient it uses. Hee hee hee. For now, I'm just gonna get some red potion. Interested in some of my red potion, are you? It'll cost 50 rupees. That's fine, since we're gonna need red potion for the dungeon upcoming. There. Lovely. We got some red potion. This will help you through some scrapes. Yeah, as full as full gets. But for now, the rest of the way is being blocked, so we can just worry about that later. Our objective now? Get ourselves to the Eastern Palace. But we gotta watch out for these buzz bombs. These guys are bad news. But we can deal with these green guys. These are bad news. Gotta keep on moving. Can't stop for an instant. And if I know my way around Zelda, especially with this game, we should reach the Eastern Palace soon enough. Out of my way, Crow. Thank you. And it looks like we've arrived. Huh? What are these? This must be the entryway to the Eastern Palace. And this sign? Hey, are you an adventuring type? Then have I got the items for you. Visit me south of the castle, Ravio. Ugh, oh, I have a feeling Ravio is going to have a role in this. That's fine by me. Uh-oh, now we got a new enemy, Armos. These things will only attack when they, like, not move. Like, if you get near it, it'll attack you, so you better watch out. 
Sometimes some will attack you. You just have to smack it to find out which one's real and which one isn't. Now we gotta go all the way back to his house so we can get ourselves some item rental. Yeah, that's I believe is what the theme of the game is. But if you have the game, you can pretty much see that for yourself. Alright, almost there. Good. Should arrive here. Welcome home, Mr. Hero. Just call me Link, please. You said it was alright to stay here, so I've made myself at... At... What happened? Here we go. Plot exposition. What's that? Saw my signs at the Eastern Palace, did you? I was going to open a store near the palace, but when I saw all the monsters, I hightailed it out of there. Way too many monsters around there for my liking, you get me? But I seem to recall some stone pedestals near my signs. Did you see a symbol of them? Oh, you did? Well, do you remember what the symbol was? Yes, a bow and arrow. That's right! It was the bow and arrow. Remind you of anything? Like maybe this? You rented the bow. Don't forget, you can aim on the go. Normally, I charge you a rental fee, but I'll lend it to you for free. This time, anyway. But I'll be taking that back if anything happens to you out there. Thanks. Now we got ourselves a very helpful item. Oh, now we have our hands on the energy gauge. This is the energy gauge. It depletes when you use Rabio's items and recharges over time. If your energy runs out, you can't use his items until it replenishes. Try it out using the bow you just got. Want to hear the explanation again? No. I don't need an explanation. But in the meantime, let's switch items. Alright. Gotta take down more enemies than we have for the Eastern Palace. And we gotta watch out for these Octoroks. They take two hits to kill. Grow again. Take that. And this must be the way to go. Nice. And we gotta watch out for these guys. Taking down just three hits. Same for this guy. Alright, so now we gotta head up here. And into these switches. Nice! Now you see how the items work in this game with the stamina gauge to boot. Hmm, this must be Shah Shrala's place. Let's drop by and say hi. Wait, this isn't it! Wrong room! Now it's time for us we head to the Eastern Palace. Hmm? There's a chest here. Let's check it out. Oh, great. Armos. Armos Knights. Nice. Take you down effortlessly. You just keep on smacking with your sword, and they'll go down. Nice. Another red rupee. That's worth 20. And we're going to be needing a lot of rupees in this game. Not to mention there are a lot of treasure chests here. If we had something like the hammer, we can smash that down and get more rupees. Oh, I believe there's nothing more we can do here. Except there. Though I could worry about that later. Let's just keep on going and dodge these tektites. Great. More almost nights. Not worth the challenge. Gotta just keep smacking around. It takes three hits to kill, by the way. And this must be the Eastern Palace, so let's check it out. You! Stop where you are! What are you doing here at the Eastern Palace? Uh, here to help? Oh, my apologies. I thought you were someone I'm looking for. Aren't you, Link? You're the blacksmith's apprentice, right? But what brings you all the way to the Eastern Palace? Vile deeds at the Sanctuary? My master sent you to fetch me back to safety? <laughs> <laughs> this Yuga you speak of, surely he's cause for grave concern. But why should Sashrala be worried about me? I'm a descendant of the original Seven Sages. I'm just as powerful as they were. I even got myself a sand rod, so I'm more or less invincible. Bold talk, you might say, but it's simply the truth. I'll get to the bottom of all this Yuga nonsense. Now, farewell to you, Link. 
Oh dear god, why don't you listen to reason? He doesn't listen to reason, does he? But other than that, we're done here with this episode. That's about it. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. It means a lot to me. Next time, we're going to be heading towards the Eastern Palace. Because I got a bad feeling about this. Alright, take care. Thanks for watching. See you next time.